I'm starting this vlog quite late in the day. It is 4 p.m. because this morning we went up and did the Christchurch gondola and I may have left my memory card in my laptop at the hotel. So I didn't get to film any of that. No one is more annoyed than I am. I was up late editing and I just didn't get a chance to. So we just went to Thug Burger, which is really popular. Josh only got chips and he's already eaten them, but I got full on burger and chips. And I cannot wait to try it. So we've come back down to the water because it's a lot more beautiful here to eat. And I am just so excited to try this burger because it's iconic in Queenstown. The line was massive, but I am just so keen. I'm about to take the first bite of the burger. Like, oh, that's massive. Okay, so I got the, it was like the classic. So it has bacon, meat, cheese, everything. So let's see if it's good. I mean, it's a burger. <laughs> I think that's the thing with all these places that really hyped up, like Wendy's, we found in this. Like, they're really hyped up, and it is really nice, but a burger's a burger. So, there's not really that much that can be that great about it, but it is really nice. It'll be interesting to see how much of this I'm actually able to eat <laughs> since it's so massive. And I also got some fries as well. So, don't know if I'll be eating dinner tonight. I think that will fill me up that's for sure oh my gosh isn't that so pretty doesn't get much better than this so cool. it literally looks like those mountains are photoshopped in the background hey guys so it is a little bit later now we just went back to the room and chilled for a little because it was so cold but we are now going to the below what's it called below zero um i spot and i am so excited how many times have i said that this trip <laughs> but so it's basically if you haven't seen it an i spa so we just like went in to like confirm our booking and stuff we have 20 minutes to kill so we're just gonna walk around see what we can get up to but it is apparently negative 14 degrees in there so i'm a little bit nervous i am too <laughs> yeah it's gonna be so cold but it's an experience so we'll see how long we last in there but yeah i'm really keen we're at the ice bar we have some drinks and they're literally in ice um like the cups made of ice everything in here is made of ice it is negative 12 degrees so we got given this ice bar jacket that we put over the top of our normal jacket so let me show you what it looks like it's very busy but i'm presuming it'll die now but it is really cool so let me show you it has that's josh playing some um what's it called foosball no air hockey air hockey on ice ice hockey true <laughs> This is what it looks like. Everything you see is made of ice. Literally everything. It is so cool, literally and figuratively. And here is a little bear statue. I mean, it is just amazing. A swan statue. Okay, I definitely need a photo in front of that. That's so me. It is awesome. Sorry, I was just saying to Josh that people have left. It's not as busy here. Do you want to say what you said? <laughs> Natural selection has occurred. <laughs> It's too cold. Only the strong survive. <laughs> so as you were saying, natural selection, only the strong survive. We are literally the only ones left. We've been in here for only 30 minutes and literally everybody else has left. Even the bartender left, I think, to go get a little warm. But it hasn't been that long. That makes it sound like I've been in here forever, but it's only been 30 minutes. But we have the whole place to ourselves, which is crazy. Everyone dipped so quickly. So I guess I can give you guys a full on tour now since literally no one else. Like, I, I just can't believe no one else is here. So these are more of the ice sculptures, the bar. This is the entire place, and I just can't believe it that they all dipped. Like you paid to be in here and they all left so early. But in saying that, my hands are literally freezing from holding the cup that's made of ice. I've had a few bevies, and now my fingers are frozen. So I think I might be going soon as well, but I just can't believe everyone left. They're all so lame, and we're the only ones left in the entire bar. All right, we've dipped. My hands were so freaking cold that we had to leave, but it was so good. We are back in the hotel now. We lasted really well, as you guys saw, everyone else left. But then after that, my fingers were freezing from, you know, taking out my phone and taking pics, taking out my phone to vlog, and not my phone, my camera to vlog. So my hands were really cold, so we left. And on the way, I stopped and got a hot chocolate from Starbucks just to warm up my hands, because I was so cold. So my name on my Starbucks cup was Allie, 
I always tell like free people that my name's Annie just because it's easy. Everyone always misspells Annalise or they can't understand what I'm saying. So I just say Annie because it's easy. I don't like the nickname Annie though, so please don't call me that. But I said Annie and I got Ali. So I don't know how much more simple I can make it, but yeah. It's currently about 7 a.m. and Josh and I are walking to a bus tour that we have booked to, um, oh my god, what's it called? Milford Sound. Milford Sound. I want to say Mulaney. That's in Australia. Um, yeah, so we are on our way to Milford Sound. It is currently one degrees as we are walking and we just had breakfast at our hotel, which had a fireplace that we were sitting right next to and it was so so warm so to come out here into the freezing cold at one degrees it's a little bit chilly not gonna lie but i'm really excited to go see milford sound it looks beautiful we have a four hour bus journey there and back so i've downloaded lots of and that's why we drink podcasts to listen to along the way so hopefully you know it's not too painful so our bus has just made a stop off along the way at this really cool mountain peak so i don't know what it's called because our bus driver talks a lot and i can't really understand him properly so i haven't really been listening to what he's saying but it is really beautiful here Ta -da! as you can see the mountains go all the way back and there's this here as well which is so beautiful. So we've been on the bus for about two hours now and it's been pretty chill. It's good, the podcasts are going well, but we have a long way to go. But this is gorgeous. It's really good that it makes stops along the way because it makes it a lot easier. We made it to Milford Sound. Woohoo! Over here is the Tasman Sea. So if you go apparently that way for a very long time, you'll reach Australia. My lips are going blue and I sound like I'm drunk slurring my words because I can't talk properly because everything's numb. I think you can see that my lips are blue. Can you? <laughs> I feel weird to ring it like <laughs> And now we are back on the bus. Four hour journey home. So it was good. Was it worth it? I think so too.